Hey, what's going on with everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In today's video, I wanna show you how you can vertically align two blocks of content inside of a parent div. I'm using React Bootstrap and Gatsby in order to do that. And with that, let's get started. All right, once again, my name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. And this channel is all about helping you design more and to troubleshoot less. If that's what you're looking for online, then hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell so you never miss a video. All right, so I've got the Gatsby starter default design set up with a little space band going on right here. And I've also previously installed the React Bootstrap. If you are new to React Bootstrap, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to a video I made showing you how to install React Bootstrap. The great part about React Bootstrap is I can use all the components of Bootstrap in React Bootstrap. So let's head over to our index.js file, which I should have had open, and I just closed it. So let me go open that again. Let's go to Gatsby Demo Projects, number 66. Man, I've got a lot of them going on here. And in here, let me hit over my pages and my index file, and now we're talking. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a new div that I can write a flex line in. So inside of here, I'm gonna drop it right below Mr. Spaceman. I'm gonna say div and then class name equals and d flex. This is already pre-written inside of Bootstrap, which we can then use in React Bootstrap. So if I close it and test, let's see what it looks like. Cool, we have the word test but I want to eventually make it in the center of a div. So I first have to give my div some sort of height. So what I'm gonna do is come back over to dflex and add a new class name called full v height, just for a name I know that will not compete inside of React Bootstrap. I'm gonna go into a custom CSS file that I made, and in the CSS file, I have to add some sort of height to this. So if I add a new class and say full V height, I'm gonna add a min height, not a min width, and I'll add 50 vertical height just for right now. I try not to use heights because they're static. If I say min height, that means if I put more content in this div, it won't lock it into place. So let's just save it and take a look. And did I not save something? Which I probably didn't do. Yep, the index file is not saved. There we go. Now it's saved. Always gonna do the test to see, hey, what's happening? So I have my 50 vertical height. And what we can also do is, in order to be able to see it on screen, I'm gonna add a border to this design. So I'll say border, 1px, solid, and black. And now we can see how big our div is. So what I wanna do is I wanna move test down to the middle of the screen. We can use that by saying align item center per React Bootstrap and Gats, or not Gatsby Bootstrap, vanilla React Bootstrap. Wait, not vanilla, geez, I can't say it properly. Using get bootstrap, which is the vanilla version of React Bootstrap. There we go. So if I head over to index.js, what I wanna do is under dflex, I'm gonna say align items center. And what that's gonna do is, is create a centering effect for test. Now let's say I wanna write the word paragraph or some sort down below. So normally what I would do is, I would say paragraph, paragraph one, and then below it, paragraph two. But here's the thing, because we're aligning things to the center now, paragraph one and paragraph two are next to each other per the rules of flex. So I wanna move paragraph two below paragraph one. Well, what we have to do is, is create a brand new div to contain these two paragraphs. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll cut them out, and I'm just gonna say div, to div. What this is gonna do is the align item center will only be corresponding to the immediate child of these div tags. 
Now what I can do is drop them both in. I'll indent them so they can see div, div, open, close, close. And now when I save it, what I get are paragraph one and paragraph two properly centered within my design. If you want more videos helping you design more and troubleshoot less, check out the videos I have here and don't forget to subscribe. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. Thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic day.